Alright, today I'm going to teach you how to make a weapon completely in Blender and uh, using GIMP also. So open up Fable Explorer because we need to export a mesh. So once Fable Explorer is open, go to graphics.big, scroll down nearly to the bottom until you find... I'm going to use Cleaver Iron 01, save model LOD, and I'm going to call it Mr. Cleave. Then go ahead and X out. So you'll see Mr. Cleave here. Go ahead and make a copy of this. Uh, if you get that error, just close it. I'm going to click on it and hit Control c and then Control v and it'll make copy of Mr. Cleave. And I'm going to name it Final. No, I'm just going to not name it. So leave it as copy of Mr. Cleave, and then go ahead and open up Blender. I am going to make a simple tube. So I'm going to go into Front View and add mesh cylinder I'm going to go into vertice select mode and I'm going to delete these so you end up with a hollow tube and I'm going to stretch it this way um, So when you have your tube, go actually go ahead and import that uh, Mr. Khalif file so you can kind of get an idea of where it needs to be and how big it needs to be. So just select your mesh and scale it up and stuff until it's about the same size and put it in the same spot and stuff. And you always want the place where your hero is going to hold it to be right lined up with the handle and everything. And by the way, I'm, I'm controlling the camera with 1, 3, and 7. 7 is top, 1 is uh, front view, and 3 is side view. And you want your mesh to be oriented, oriented just the way this is, so the blade needs to be pointing the same way as that blade. <laughs> then go to object mode and select just the cleaver that you imported and delete it since you already have this lined up and now you need to make a UV map so right click on the edge of the 3D window and there and click split area and I'm gonna go to UV image editor by clicking there and then go to edit mode select everything and click U or press U and say cylinder from view because this is a cylinder and it's gonna make it really huge so just scale it down a lot move it back because it needs to be on that grid and then I'm gonna just scale it this way and the way I did that I, pre I pressed S move my mouse to the right and then pre and then click the middle mouse button once So you end up with this, and then I'm going to select half of it, or almost half of it, and click UVs, mirror, x-axis, then I'm going to press G to grab it, and then align it with the middle mouse button again. And I'm going to align the two sides. So right there, those dots should be at the same spot. And select it all again. Since this is a, just a simple tube, it's going to take up the whole square, or most of the square. Alright, that way it'll be seamless, meaning you won't see a, a, a bump in it. Or, it just won't look weird. So yeah. And turn off double-sided, and make sure that there isn't any black spots on the outside. And I'm going to set it to smooth. That way it's nice and smooth. Alright, and um, if you go to back to edit mode and select everything, you'll notice that it has all the UV map ready and stuff, so just go to scripts, or actually, first you need to go to object mode, then click on the circle there, and click add new, and click text face. Then go to ed edit mode, and click UVs, scripts, save UV face layout, and I'm going to save it at 512. 
by 512. And I'm going to make it SVG and fill SVG faces. And then click OK. And go to desktop or wherever you want to save it. And then after you've done that, go ahead and minimize. And I'm going to open it with GIMP. Go to open with, choose program. I'm going to use GIMP. But you can use whatever you want. I'm just using, this is just the program that I prefer. Then click OK. Alright. I'm gonna leave the alpha on there, just select everything, and I'm just gonna make it some kind of weird fancy texture. And I'm gonna click save as, and I'm gonna save it as a PNG, or a JPEG. No, a PNG. I like PNG. But don't save it as a BMP because those take up too much space. They'll clog up your hard drive. Then go back into Blender and click Image, Open, and choose your PNG file or whatever you saved it as. Then go back to Object Mode and then click on that and go to Textured and you should see what it'll look like. And it looks kind of stretched. So I'm going to mess with it. That's better. So um after you have your texture on it, just um now we need to make the helpers. We've already lined it up with where you're going to hold it, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to make the augmentation helpers and the hit point helpers. So click right about where it should be, and click add, or hit space, and then go to add, empty, and go down here to editing. And I'm going to set arrow size to 5 just so I can see it maybe even six just so I can see it better and I'm gonna name it Og one just keep it simple and um, you'll notice the Z is pointing up we actually want to go in the side of you with three and we want the or let's go into wireframe view we want the Z to point the other way so hit R and then on your keyboard type in negative 90 and it should make the Z point that way and then hit enter otherwise the beam will shoot up this way instead of this way when you uh, have a flourish and then another way to do this automatically is just to go into front view with it one and then before you create it add empty and then name it Augo2, or just Aug2. Make sure it's centered the way you want it to be. Alright. And then, now we need to make the hit point helpers. So go to Add, Empty. And these don't need to be aligned any special way. And uh, let's call it HPNT A and put it up at the top. And then down here, add another one, empty, and it'll be HPNT B. Alright, so now you have your helper set up, so select everything with by hitting A twice, or actually select your tube, then go to edit mode, 